Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are in the world. So today I want to talk about angels and uh, switch off if you want to. It's um, not always a popular subject. It's the first religion ever to exist upon the planet Earth. Um, well, the first kind of belief, you know. I had an experience which made me start believing in angels and uh, when I was in a relationship with a woman, I'm, I'm gay, um, I was with a woman for 13 years and uh, for seven years of that I was living a double life and feeling a lot of self-hatred. Um, so I've decided I'm going to be really honest about this and I decided many years ago to take my own life and as I made that decision I did love her by the way and uh, we had a great relationship and a very turbulent relationship um, she's now married with children and uh, hopefully happy and living a great life anyway the reason that I wanted to mention that is because as I made the decision, I was in a charity shop and I decided I was going to take my own life by taking an overdose. And the moment that I made that decision, a book fell from the top shelf out onto my head and I bent down to pick the book up and I looked at it and it was called May the Angels Be With You. So I kind of looked up and I thought, okay, I get it. Um, and I took that as a sign and that kind of like woke me up. Obviously I didn't take my own life. Um, I then went on to study everything that I could about angels and it actually kind of like woke up my spiritual sight. I started to see angels, I started to become clairvoyant, I didn't know um, about it that much but I learnt about clairsentience and um, I took it as a sign and it was a sign. I bought the book year later read um i'd already read the book and uh, met the author and we had lunch in la the author um had come to england to do a talk and uh, met the author then and we became friends told him about my experience it was interesting because we were both singers both had a weight problem and as you can see you know, it's something I've battled with my whole life. That's a big story, which I won't go into now. But at some point, I would like to talk about it because it's part of my uh, history and there is a reason. Um, anyway, the reason that I want to talk about angels is because I believe in them and they have appeared to me many, many times and I can see them. I have seen them. Sometimes they appear as energy. Um, sometimes I feel them. Anyway, I want to tell you about another experience that I had, and I've had many. Um, and I'm also going to do, do um, an angel card reading, past, present and future. Um, these are, do uh, not Doreen Virtue, these are uh, Diana Cooper, who's uh, one of the leading authorities on angels. Um, I do have Doreen Virtue card and she's cards and she has become a born again Christian and believes that angels are demonic um, or angel cards are demonic. I beg your pardon. She doesn't believe that angels are, are demonic. I don't believe that. Um, she became a born again Christian and um, renounced the new age movement. <clears throat> I was raised as a Greek Orthodox Christian and um, I believe in that power. I don't believe in everything to do with certain religions, but I, I, I feel that um, 
that, you know, everybody has the path. I believe in love and um, I certainly believe that Jesus exists as an energy. Anyway, I want to tell you about the other experience that I had. I now sing at St. James's Church, but many years ago before that, I um, was there with my partner at the beginning, my now partner. <clears throat> at the beginning of our relationship, I wanted to take him there because I'd been there before and I loved it. And um, so there we were at the church and he asked me to marry him this was before gay marriage was legal legal and um so i was obviously very moved by that because i love him loved him and still do and i said yes and uh, we were going for lunch that day and i came out of the church and this I was still in the grounds of the church and this very old man appeared and he, when I saw him he was dressed immaculately and he came up to me and he said we know who you are and you're very welcome here you're a good man and I own all of this land and I was kind of taken aback by this and I said I'd like to give you a hug and I gave him a hug and he was real, I touched him, and uh, <clears throat> he then started speaking in tongues, which I'd never heard before, and it was really a very, very strange experience. At this point, my partner came over, and uh, he s started speaking normally again, and I said, this is uh, a man who owns this land, which I thought was a very th strange thing to say. And we were going for lunch and then he pointed uh, in the direction that we were going to go in. And he said, uh, you can go this way or you can go that way. And I said, uh, nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Very strange experience. And as I was walking out, there's a market at the front of the church. Um, and as I was walking through the market, I started crying. Tears were pouring down my eyes and I, I turned and I said to my partner, I know that that was an angel. I just knew. And later on, you know, I researched whether there was like an owner of, of, the, uh, of the grounds. There wasn't. But we had many other experiences that day, which I won't go into. And there were lots of very unusual experiences that happened um, that would blow your mind if I tell you about them. But there are two very powerful angel experiences that changed my life and woke me up to the reality of angels. I mean, some believe that demonic forces appear as angels trying to play tricks on you. And, you know, that's up to you if you want to believe that. Anyway, I do believe in angels and I think that you can call upon them. And I know that the devil was an angel. God's favourite angel. But let's not focus on that, shall we? I want to focus on the good angels. Angel literally means messenger. So I'm going to pick three cards. One for the past, one for the present, and one for the future. And this is for all of us. Here, and I'm just going to bang it three times. I'm going to shuffle it. I'm going to pick one for the past and that I'm just going to do one word serenity let's bring the past into the present shall we I am serene and still so I take that to mean I'm just going to be peaceful and have serenity with my past and perhaps we all, all can next one understanding let's bring some understanding into the present this card represents the present i seek an understanding of myself and my own life well that's quite relevant isn't it last one I'm just going to pick it this one positivity well that never hurt anyone did it 
positive and strong. That's the thought that I'm going to take into the future. And I offer you that thought to take into the future. I'm positive and strong. I'm going to pick one more card. And I've already been talking for a long time now. This is a Dorian Virtue card and she wouldn't like me using these because she thinks that it's of the devil, which I don't believe so. This is the card that I picked and it's clairvoyance, which is what I was talking about. And it says, I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. It's available to us, so focus on that. Heavenly love to you and to all of us right now. Thank you.